Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ride 2 here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here and in today's video guys we're testing out a Supermoto and the Supermoto we're testing out is the KTM 450 SMR 2015. Now we're going to do a race on this uh, bike in one of the world tours against some of the other Supermotos and then we're going to do a time trial and compare it against two other Supermotos. Now this was requested by Lucas Case. Thank you for leaving your comment and requesting this matchup. If you want to see your matchup let me know in the comments below and please keep liking the video so we're going to get straight into a race on this bike and then we're going to do that time trial against the other two supermotos so let's get straight into it guys right guys let's have a quick look at the specifications of this ktm first now this one's got 9.4 acceleration 9.9 braking power 5.1 top speed and 9.4 handling but we're going to have a look at the other two which we're going to compare it against at the end of the video now we've got the tm which has got 9.4 acceleration 9.9 braking power five uh, for top speed and 9.6 handling so slightly better handling but less top end and the other one we're going to have a look at is a uh, dlc um supermoto and that was the suzuki rmz 450 which has 9.3 acceleration 9.7 braking power 5.1 top speed and 9.4 handling it's going to be an interesting one guys but we're getting to that at the end of the video but first up let's get into the race Right, first up, we're going to race at this KTM. But, and all these races I do, guys, in these comparison videos, I don't alter the uh, suspension settings. But if I do, guys, I will let you know. But uh, hopefully, we can get a decent result. But this is quite a tricky circuit. Uh, but it's a good one. So let's get straight into this race and hope for a win. Right, so here we go with the race on the KTM. Now, the only supermoto I've really raced on Ride 2 is the TM. So it'd be really interesting to see what the KTM and the Suzuki are alike against the TM. And that's not a bad start. So let's see if we can win this race. Now, let's see if we can get nice and tight. Now, this circuit isn't one of my favourites, but it is one that you do a lot of races on in the world tours on this game so you're gonna i'm gonna have to try and get used to it now i have done a few time trials around here but like i said it's a really tough circuit to race around you've got to get right and tight onto the apex onto the curbs to get maximum speed and there is going to be quite a lot of contact on the supermoto so i'm gonna to have to be really clever into the corners and hopefully i don't get crashed off oh i've been set out wider there can i take a nice line into the inside and take that place let's try and be careful into this tough turn here because that turns really tough and i've got pushed out wide so well done by the ai right there that was a clever move and it looks like it's going to be a lot harder to win this race now the bike that put, that's pulled away in this race is another ktm so it's already shown that this ktm is a very very good bike so let's just see if we can dive up the inside here stop it try and be careful try and be good on the accelerator and the brake and we've managed to just take that position but the uh, ktm in front has really really pulled away but also guys i just want to say uh, many thanks to uh lucas case that did request this i really appreciate uh, everyone that uh, watches this series uh, comments and likes the videos but like i said if you want to see a matchup just let me know in the comments below and i will try and pick the favorites but this was one that i wanted to do anyway because i've had three super motos in my garage and i thought why not try and test them out against each other and i think they are the three uh, strongest ones out of all the ones that you can choose on the game so let's see if we can catch this other ktm down this isn't going to be easy i'm going to have to take a few risks into these corners and try and get right onto the curbs and see if I can just gain a little bit of speed. But he is really, really, the AI seems to be pretty quick around this circuit. And like I said, on a few races I have done and time trials, it hasn't been easy to win it on the hardest level, but I'm gonna try my best. I need to get better through that left-hand turn. That left-hand turn is so difficult. But like I said, I don't adjust any of the suspension settings on the bike. So it takes a while just to get the hang of the bike and uh, really, really settling. But um, the time trial we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna do on a different circuit, and we're gonna probably do three quick fire laps on the Supermoto, and we're gonna see which one comes out on top and which one is the, kick, the quickest. But we aren't gonna adjust any of the bikes, so they're all gonna be on a level playing field, so hopefully we will see which one comes out on top. I'm not sure whether it's gonna, it's gonna be this one, but uh, this one feels pretty good considering. Oh, God, that was close there. I thought I was going to get chucked off the back as I was flipped it over and tried to get a nice tight turn there. That was so, so close. Am I running the fastest on this second lap? Yes, I am. So I am running the fastest, but I'm just not being consistent. Right, let's just try and get a nice speed through there. Not as tight as I'd like. Let's try and get tighter onto the curb into this corner. Really start, start trying to close down the gap between this other KTM. And I'm, I'm starting to think that three laps might not be enough to win this race oh my god right onto the curb they're really trying to take some risks 
Let's see if we can get a little bit closer into this section. And flip it over onto the curb again. Oh my god, it's squirming around onto the curb. Really bobbing around everywhere. Let's try and get a nice speed through there. Don't slide off. Oh, I felt the back end wanting to go there. And just accelerate. Trying to be really, really careful on the throttle control out the corners. Because I have been chucked off a couple of times on these supermotos in previous races. Trying to uh, gun it out of corners too fast. At a really tight angle. Right, let's try and slow it down. Getting really close now. We might be able to get him in the last right-hand turn if we can get a little bit closer. We're trying to get in his slipstream. Now, these bikes aren't the quickest uh, top end, but they are so fun around the short circuits. Let's see if we can get a nice turn in here. Can we stop it? And we've just stopped the other KTM turning in. And can we hold on to it? Oh, I think he just touched my back wheel there. And I've just gone straight onto the curb. And it's going to be a race to the finish line. Oh, this is going to be really close. Which KTM is going to use it? Oh, I think he just made contact with my back wheel. And that just slowed him down slightly. And I took the win. But boy, was that fun, guys. And very, very close. I Actually, these supermotors are really fun to race. I could, you know, I haven't done many on them, and that was really good fun. Definitely have to do more races on the supermotos for sure. Maybe on some of the other supermoto circuits. But now we're going to get straight into that time trial, guys. Which one's going to come out on top? Is it going to be the TM? Is it going to be the Suzuki? Or is it going to be this KTM? We're going to find out very soon, guys. So let's get straight into it and see which one is victorious. So here we go. Right, so here we go with this time trial. Now, first up is the Suzuki RMZ 450, and we're going to be doing it around the Nürburgring GP short circuit, and we're just going to do three quick fire laps without making no adjustments, and we're just going to see which one of the three comes out on top. It's going to be quite close, I think. There's not, not going to be a lot in it, but it's going to be interesting without making adjustments which one handles the best. So let's get straight into it now, guys, and see which one wins. Right, so here we go with the first three laps on the Suzuki. Like I said, I'm not adjusting any of these bikes, so they're all going to be on the same settings. And we're just going to see which one can get the fastest lap time. Now, this circuit is quite short. Um, the only real difficulty on this circuit is this right-hand turn here. This is probably where I'm going to lose it most of the time. And it's probably where the handling of uh, these three bikes is going to come into play. So that didn't feel too bad through there. And uh, But we will find out. So let's see if we can get a good first couple of laps in. I'm not sure what sort, sort of time we're going to get around the circuit. It's going to be probably 40 to 50 seconds. It's not going to be very long. Right, so here the lap time starts. Let's see if we can start off really well getting to that first corner. Now that all these bikes max out on this quite a low speed, so this is maxing out on about 108 miles an hour, which isn't that quick, but they do accelerate very quick up to that speed. So let's see if we can get a nice turn in there. That wasn't too bad, nice and tidy. Um, but like I said, we're going to do three laps. Hopefully, uh, as we go um, on second and third lap, we get better times. But as long as we don't make any mistakes as well, guys, and get any, I'm not going to count any invalid laps. So if I get an invalid lap, that time is not going to count. It's got to be a clean lap. Oh God, we almost lost it through there, and that's going to cost us a bit of time. So see what I mean? This is where the handling on the bikes is going to come into play. Uh, it's not turning into uh, the corners as tight as I would like as well. So that's the first lap. So we've got a 46.1, so that's the first lap time. Let's see if we can beat that uh, on another couple of laps. All right, let's get a nice turn into there. We're going, we've just got to slightly faster on that first split point. So let's see if we can carry on and get another uh, lower time on the next split point. Here we come to the next split point, and we're still under the time, but only very uh, minimal. So we're going to have to really speed up through here if we want to gain a little bit more time, right? Get a nice turn in there, keep it nice and steady. And keep that front wheel down, turn it. Oh, it's not very comfortable through there. I struggled a little bit and that wasn't very smooth through there. But we're still up on the time. So hopefully we can get that lap time down a bit. Right, and now drive it to the line. This should be a faster lap. So we just hit a 45.1. So we've got to try and beat that again on this third lap. So 45.1 is the time to beat. Let's see if we can beat that. And we're up on the time again at the first split point. Let's try and keep it nice and smooth around there. Um, it's not get, uh, turning in as well as the KTM. Um, um, but then I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't feel as stable into some of the corners as well. But uh, we'll find out if the KTM is any better around here. It might be just because um, this is the one first one out and I'm just getting adjusting to the circuit. But we're up on the time slightly, so here we can, we, can we get another faster lap here? We just lost it through there slightly. Get nice and tight and drive it to the line. Is this going to be our fastest lap? I'm not sure. Oh, no, actually it was slightly slower. So the last lap time of 45.1 is the time to beat. So we end the trial there. 
Now we're going to jump onto the next bike and we're going to see if we can beat this time. So that was the fastest time of 45.166. So we're going to jump onto the next Supermoto and see if that one can beat that time. So here we go. Right guys, so here we go with the TM. Now this is the highest performance points bike out for free in this trial. So is it going to be the best? We will find out. Um, but I have ridden this one a couple of times in a few races in some world tours and I found it to be okay. But is it going to be better than the KTM and the Suzuki? We're going to find out. So let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with the TM. Three quick fire laps and we've got 45.166 to beat. I'm not sure it's going to do it, but we are we are going to find out. We've got three laps to see if we can beat it. So let's see if we can get a good start here. Get it nice and tight into these sections. Slow it down. Now this one has slightly better acceleration, I think. And keep that front wheel down. Oh, it felt a little bit awkward through there. It was a I was fighting with it slightly through there. Not as smooth as the, the uh, Suzuki. But I think it's definitely got a lot more punch to it, so um, it's possibly going to be quicker. So that's a find out on this first lap. Let's see if we can drive it down here, get a nice tight turn into this corner, and hopefully hold it, get nice and tight. Oh God, slightly lost it there. That wasn't as smooth as I would like, but managed to drive it out of that corner. And let's see if we can beat uh, that time first time. But we've got three attempts on this bike again. And then we're going to jump on the KTM to see if that one comes out on top. I'm not sure if it's going to, but we will find out very soon. Right, let's try and hold it through here. Nice and tight. Oh, God, again, not very good once I start uh, breaking through there. That found a little bit awkward, but um, this could still be a quicker time. Let's hold it through there. And now drive it to the line. Are we going to beat that 45.1? No, we didn't. So on the first lap, we didn't uh, we didn't get a faster time. But are we going to beat it on the second lap? We're going to find out. Right, get nice and tight. So we're up on the time on the first split point. Let's see if we can get nice and tight. Oh, that felt a lot better through there. Managed to get a nice drive around that corner. We should be a little bit better up on the time on the next split point. I think we will be. Yes, almost half a second. So we've definitely gained some time. So this could be a faster lap as long as I get through this section nice and clean. Let's keep it nice and smooth. Fighting with it a little bit. Front wheel went up. And I've, oh God, struggled to slow it down again. So it doesn't feel very good when I try and turn it uh, into uh, from one side to the other. It really, really kicks you out a lot. So this one definitely doesn't handle as well as the Suzuki. But we managed to beat that time. And now we've hit a one, uh, sorry, a 44.616. So let's see if we can go better on this third lap and just try and push that time a little bit more if we can that's not bad try to hold it through there let's try and get a nice drive through this section we need to get nice and tight through here and hold the speed no we're half a second down so we've lost a bit of time through there so maybe our second lap is the only one that's going to stand against uh in this time. well it's going to stand in this time trial as the fastest time because so i don't think no it's still slower really really struggled to push it through there so 40 uh 44.616 is the time to beat, I think. Yep, this is definitely going to be slower. So there we go, three laps on the TM. We've got the faster time than the, than the uh, Suzuki, but is the KTM going to beat both of these two? Now, I think it's in between. It's slightly less performance points, uh, but it did handle very well in that race. But is it going to win this time trial? We're going to jump straight into that. Three quick fire laps, and we're going to see if that one comes out on top. So here we go, guys. Right guys, so here we go with the KTM. So this is going to be interesting. So the time we've got to beat is 44.616. Is the KTM going to beat that? Now this did handle very, very well in the race. So I'm expecting this one to be close. But uh, you never know until you jump into these trials. So let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with three quick fire laps on the KTM and let's see if we can beat that time. So let's see if we can start off really well. Now this went, this bike did feel very stable in the race. It's right onto the curb there. Let's try and get nice and tight and see if we can start off this trial really well. So uh, the time doesn't start until you go for the, the, the start line and just try and keep it nice and smooth. Uh, the back ends are wiggling about. Uh, when I'm trying to open the throttle, but it is turning into the corners a little bit better than the TM did. Uh, but is it better than the Suzuki into the corners? I can't really say yet. Let's just get a lap in first and see what sort of time we can manage. Let's get nice and tight into this section. Hold it, hold it. 
And just getting nice and tight. It's definitely turning into the corners a lot better. But I'm not sure if it's faster. Uh, acceleration. Right, let's get a nice line through here. Try and hold the speed. Keep it nice and tight. Keep it in the middle of the circuit. Right, this is where we lose the time. So let's try and keep it nice and steady. A little bit better. Just try and keep it nice and tight. Oh, that was, that was okay. Not amazing, but it felt very good accelerating out of that last corner. Keep it nice and tight. It's definitely dropping into the corners better. But again, we haven't adjusted any of the settings. And, oh, God, we smashed it. 43.783. So there you go. First lap, and it smashed the time of both the other bikes. So there you go, guys. The KTM has won already. Now, that is really, really surprising. I wasn't expecting this one to win by that sort of margin but there you go so this one is definitely stronger uh around these sort of circuits it gets into the corners really really tight and feels a lot smoother but you can tweak these bikes to make them a little bit better guys i'm just basing this on a bike that i haven't adjusted and again we're up on the time we're going to probably beat that time even more so this is i'm probably going to end up being over a second quicker than the other two and again we've beaten the time 43.550 oh my god this one is so much better than the other two round here uh, but we will get into a quick summary of the bike at the end of the video. And don't forget, guys, it's probably going to be a double episode today. Uh, we've got a new bikes pack to have a, look at, uh, have a look at. But we will do that in the next video. But hopefully it will be a d double episode, guys. Right, let's slow it down into this section. Try and hold the speed. Are we going to gain a little bit of time? Can we beat that time that we used to set? No, I think we've just dropped a little bit of time on this lap. But never mind, guys. The time that we set on the last lap is still going to stand. And it's going to win this uh, time trial by quite a distance. So there we go. That was still quicker. But all three laps that we did on the KTM were under 44 seconds. So this is not just uh, the best of the three. It's more consistent. And that's what we found. Now, on the, other two, on the other two, I struggled to get the rhythm at first. But this one, I got three laps really consistently uh, under uh, 44 seconds, which was absolutely brilliant. And there you go. So the KTM wins out of three. I hope you enjoyed this trial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But quickly, before I end the video, we're just going to summarise the race and the time trial and just give this bike a rating. So we're going to do that now, guys. So here we go. Right guys, I'm just going to give this a summary. Now, all, out of all the supermotos we've trialled in today's video, this came out on top. It felt the best into the turns. The braking power was awesome. And I'm going to give it a massive rating of 10 out of 10. It's definitely the one that you need to buy and put in your garage. If you do a lot of supermoto racing, racing you want this one. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and bye-bye.